Well, hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars review. And today, we are reviewing the uh, er, Jedi Interceptor and Vulture Droid set from 2005. Okay. Uh, so, on the front of the booklet, see the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and the uh, older uh, Revenge of the Sith border, like the Lava, Mustafar, and Darth Vader there. And picture of the set in action above Coruscant, to course. And the set number is 7256. And on the back, add for the for the Star Wars video game from the time, coming April 2005. And the old win advertisement with one of the old Clickets sets, which I hear we might be getting a return of those sometime, not sure though, but anyways, and also add for original trilogy edition uh, TIE Fighter from the time, and then the last steps. So, on to the only mini thing we get in the set is of Anakin Skywalker, his episode 3 appearance. And as you see, the a torso print and everything about the same as the light up version that comes in the Dulan Mustafar set from that time but except it's not the light up version and see you know, a chrome lightsaber there and uh, let me get and that's the face print of which also yeah. kind of the same as in most of the other sets at the time and the same dots eye dot eyes effect. And her piece also the same as Obi-Wan's and whatnot. And although at this time this was the only last time they were using the chrome lightsabers, well until like two thousand and seven or eight Clone Wars went with the great ones, but yeah, whatever. So First of all, for the builds, is the Vulture Droid. Which kind of odd, kind of weak of builds, but although this is what they had going for at the time, and although quite simple form of it, and as you can see, it does have the like a red cone pieces, but as like, but as the jet boosters of it. And as you see for these front wing parts, which uh, which are quite similar to the 1999 Droid Fighter set, but however, in sand blue, and unlike with that one, they fold in and out. But unlike with although, but also most of which quite like the 2014 version, but. Unlike with that version, the head is detachable, and you have to attach it to this uh, tan Technic pin to make it rest. And, and how that ends in flight mode. Uh, hang on a sec. Also, it's oh, which is on. Be like ratted pieces or ratted joint pieces rather than the like swivel joints that the 2014 version had. And as a comparison to that, is uh, designs are quite about the same, same color scheme and everything, but however, it does have a firing feature since they were introduced later. And the head of which is actually detachable on that, but on the other version, it does go up and down. But they are still, but with this version, gets the like fact that it's a drone is about correct. But on other ones, it it says put a bow droid in it and make it as a pilot. But they're drones; they don't need pilots. Not sure what Lego has going on with that, but whatever. And well, 
And I think that's about it with the Vulture Droid. And next up is for the Jedi Interceptor, of which, well, the design of which quite similar to most of the other versions of which. <coughs> but although at this time in LEGO Star Wars is when they started to pick up momentum and starting to match with the more modern line of LEGO Star Wars. And what's kind of interesting use of pieces are for these like fire hose uh, top part pieces, but used as rifle as guns in it. But although they do have a couple guns in the front wing sections, and of course has the Republic symbol there. And also, unlike the other versions in this, what they commonly did is include an astromech droid head just on the side, but instead of fitting in one. But at least they fixed that with later versions. <coughs> in the top area, which is just like the other versions. But however, you can like fold it up. And as you see, it does have a couple of sticker control panels. To, and of course, enough space. Oh, whoops enough space to fit your Anakin minifigure into it, but unfortunately not at all any spot to fit the lightsaber in it, and it can close it over him like so. And as from the back, which has a couple of wheel pieces, probably just acting as greebling and also a blue stud on also being part of the engine effect. And also, kind of a bit like the other versions, but not much is for these landing gear, is where they can fold up. Same with these. It's over to like so. Does that, and it can fly right off. And although these uh, uh, fin parts can fold out, and has an, an extra flight mode. Um, even though the bottom ones of which does have a large sticker to it, so there's few stickers in this set. And looking at from most areas, looks cool. Or still does look cool. Which they of course passed on to the other versions of it. Oops, sorry about that random ex piece explosion. Anyways, on to, so now on, on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think a pretty cool set for the time at least for a low price point, and get two little builds, which we don't see much in LEGO Star Wars nowadays. And I guess this was a good seller at the time, even though it's kind of at the opening scene of Revenge of the Sith, of course. But at least we've seen a few other versions of it over time. I hope they continue doing more Jedi Interceptors, but in random colors, so people can make fleets of them and everything. Well, obviously, with the re return of Clone Wars and everything. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And if you haven't and still have access to this set, then go ahead and get it. Like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.